Hello, sacred souls. It's Susanna from Alemanic Shaman. What I have here for us tonight is more root chakra healing that is related to healing from the trauma from uh, off narcissistic abuse. So basically, um, having our voice trampled on or not heard, having their will imposed or forced onto us and basically just that um, forceful controlling narcissistic way of not allowing us to be ourselves and who we are but molding us into who they wanted us to be sort of like mini me or something like that right um, and there was a whole bunch of stuff going on for me today, aside from lots more dreams as well. Actually, no, sorry, last night I didn't have that many, but the night before I had lots. And like basically the whole past week I've had tons of dreams. So there's lots going on um, in the spirit realm and on that level. But um, it all seems to sort of be a continuation where one ties into the next. And basically today I've had a bit of a weird voice all day like my voice was a little bit off and I knew it had to do with the, our throat chakra kind of being silenced us not being able to speak our truth and voice our opinion and be in our power when it comes to like verbalizing our emotions our feelings our opinions and all of that right um and then um, I'm going to actually show you the next thing first and then come back around to this because I was moving a bunch of stuff around and yeah, like my throat is completely unrelated. Like I'm not sick or anything, so it's not related to any sickness or anything. So I knew and like I was feeling completely fine and like sort of later in the evening it started to normalize again, right? So I knew it had to do with like the voice being taken away, right? Um, I've always like had physical signs of whatever was going on in 40. Um, anyway, what really struck me is I was like going through some stuff and I knocked over a pile of books and it, oh yeah, sorry, before I show you, it knocked, I had this tray further over and it knocked down the skull mug with a candle inside, with a violet candle inside. And the way everything fell, it's like the printout of the medicine woman that I put up to inspire me um, fell right on top of a booklet about second language acquisition for people with trauma and specifically for victims of torture. Um, so, like, basically saying that... Um, when you have trauma, you can't open up fully and you can't receive like all the gifts and you can't learn as well as you could if you had fully healed the trauma, right? And what I also find very interesting, um, I don't know if you can see it that well, but this to me looks like a head and it made me think of the Predator, you know, the movie Predator. So it's kind of like a dark reptilian type alien creature and it, it looks like they kind of spewed a bunch of dark stuff onto here right so in other words like trying to stop us from coming into our power and not wanting the trauma to heal like wanting to keep us in the trauma because then we can't fully come into our power um, so that's this part. And then here, um, the two candles that I had inside beef bones, like the one burnt down and I thought of a tower here. So a tower moment, like something that would kickstart more healing, right? Um, so that's pretty significant. But what I found really amazing is this one here, where the bone is completely charred on the inside like 
and I actually like woke up relatively early and my apartment stank and I just ripped the windows open and then it dissipated. But at that point it had finished. And um, here, this is Greece. And right away when I looked at it, I felt like this was a ghost coming out of the bone, right? So it's like whatever dark spirit was haunting us and our lineage, like our bloodline, our DNA, um, that is like in our bones, right, came out. And what's also interesting, oh, there's a hair, sorry. <laughs> um, this is wax, but this here feels like wax, but it's the color of the bone here. So it's like some of the bone actually came out of there but it mixed with the wax. So it's like whatever dark, toxic stuff was in our DNA, in our bones, um, that was connected to the narcissistic abuse that was part of the family curse, like the curse on our lineage, our bloodline, it started coming out, right? So like there is definite progress, but we still need to do some more and um, what I was guided to is that we got to remove more of the red webbing like red for like safety and security because when you grow up in a narcissistic home as a child you don't really feel safe right so um, and it doesn't have to be like physical safety it could be emotional safety um, it could just be that you might get yelled at at any moment or anything like that, right? So um, we're going to pull this off or I'm going to pull this off. And then I actually have a long red scarf um, that was on one of those lawn figures that I found a while ago. And I put that around both the male and female doll and I put them together, like put put it in a loop around both of them to show that, um, you know, we also heal by coming into divine union within ourselves, like within our male and female aspects. And that is also connected to healing our throat chakra and speaking our truth, voicing our opinions, feelings, emotions, being able to express ourselves, right? Um, uninhibited. Um, so that is kind of the biggest one. And then I wanted to throw in a little bit more of what we had done before, because we have the violet candle here to help us with the spiritual connection, which we also have here, the candle that is a spiral as well. Um, that connected us with the divine and that was bringing in luck and that is bringing in luck about like financial abundance but this shall also represent abundance in general and this was actually in that um, rose plant that I had from Valentine's Day and the way this looks makes me think of a fairy like a good fairy that wishes um, something good on us, right? So our blessings and anything that is bringing in positive things into our lives, right? So this shall bring in our blessings and, um, oh, sorry, I'm thinking something else. Oh, yes, um, miracles. So if it was blocking any miracles in our lives before, like all this stuff, this shall neutralize it and bring in all of our blessings that are rightfully ours in this lifetime. And um, just in case I have a stick here that I can break again to break the curse, we're going to be on the safe side and close the portal again, just in case, even though we've done that countless times, but better safe than sorry. Okay, so let's smudge and then get started. more just have a little bit more smoke here please cleanse and renew all of our energies and take away anything dark evil and low vibrational 
and flood us with massive amounts of healing light and unconditional love from the divine and many blessings and protections. And so it is. Thank you. Dankeschön. All my relations. All right. Let's call in our spirit guides. Dear Creator, Higher Power, Source and Soul Energy, our higher selves, our higher spirit guides of the light, dear Mother Earth, our ancestors that are in the light, and Great Spirit of the Fire, as well as the other three elements, air, earth, and water. Please join the ceremony and assist the healings and prayers, banishings and protections with all of your powers. Thank you. Please close the circle of protection around us. Thank you. <sighs> all right. We ask for all your help and assistance in breaking any and all remaining patterns, toxic patterns, and helping us heal from any and all remaining trauma that comes from narcissistic abuse that was part of the curse that was put on our bloodline, on our lineage, that was passed down through our DNA. And what just came into my head as well was, um, and that may have included um, sexual abuse as well. Um, it didn't have to, but it might have. So whatever applies, we shall heal from all of that. Ah, uh, thank you. Um, and even if it wasn't actually physically sexual abuse, um, there's there are also incestuous energies that are a part of enmeshment in a lot of those narcissistic families, right? So that's still like incestuous in the sense of... Um, maybe forcing a child into the role of one of the parents or anything like that, right? And um, just being closer, let's say that the relationship between the parent and the child is closer than a normal parent-child relationship would be in the sense of burdening the child with roles that are unfair to the child. So it could also be that the child basically place therapist for the parent or anything like that, right? Um, that they just take on or have to take on more than is fair to them. All right. Thank you. That just came through. Oh, so let's start by fully and completely breaking the curse. Ouch, my foot. I should have put a shoe on. <laughs> okay. Ah, oh, but that's interesting. There are actually three pieces. Usually it breaks into two. So I think that also means like the maternal and the paternal side. But either way, the curse is broken. Ah, thank you. Okay. And any and all portals and gateways that have allowed the dark to come in and mess with us. Like in this, like we can see in the the haunted DNA, basically, right? In having dark spirits mess with our bloodline, with our lineage, shall now and forever be closed and removed. We shall be free from this curse, from this family curse. And there might also be a curse on your soul in that aspect in some cases. So any and all of those scenarios, for any and all of those scenarios, it shall be fully and completely removed throughout all of time and space, throughout all lifetimes, timelines, parallel and alternate realms, realities, multi and universes, and any and all other aspects that affect us in this lifetime and moving forward. And so it is all my relations. <coughs> Ooh, yeah. Whew. And the dark veil... And by dark, I mean like the veil that kept us unsafe and limited by keeping us 
somewhat stuck in some of those patterns of feeling unsafe, um, of not having the protection and um, needed that we would, you know, we would need to feel completely safe, shielded and protected, but to keep us in survival mode, all all that webbing and netting shall be fully and completely removed from us and our hearts as well as our throat chakras shall be fully and completely healed from any and all damaging effects of that netting and webbing oh and what just comes to mind too is or what what was just um fed to me through clear cognizance um eh, shoot i talked too much <laughs> now i forgot my train of thought um that a lot of that ah yes is f also from like black widow spiders or spiders in general like astral spiders that f formed their webbing and netting around us to keep us limited and that is a part of um, narcissists, like a lot of narcissists kind of have that spider energy about them. And they might have um, spider astral spider attachments that kind of make them want to control us and limit us and have us live the lives that they want for us rather than our own lives so we shall now fully and completely be freed from that and our heart chakras and our throat chakras shall heal from all that damage all the blessings and miracles that are meant for us shall now come in and the fairies are helping us with that as well thank you and all of our luck shall return to us and all the abundance that is rightfully ours that was taken from us by these narcissists taking it for themselves wanting every aspect of our lives for themselves all of that we call back we call back our abundance we call back our financial blessings and our fortune our good luck and any and all other blessings including our spiritual gifts and abilities and anything else that they may have blocked for us or that they have blocked to prevent us from fully coming into our power all of that we're taking back we call it back we call back our abundance we call back our blessings we call back our luck, we call back our love, and also like represented by those hearts and that are actually intertwined, see? And we call back our power, our strength, our all of our heart feelings that were siphoned. We call back our energy. We call back everything that is part of our soul path and our soul mission that was blocked, hindered, limited, and where obstacles were put in our way. We call it all back now. Oh, mm. Put this rattle right here to give us our divine union of our internal masculine and feminine the extra strength and protection from our spirit guides and so it is i can't do too loudly it's late again at night but 
you got the idea. <laughs> okay, and so it is. Thank you, danke schön, all my relations. <sighs> much better. Okay, thank you so much. Let the ceremony now be finished and accept our love, thanks, gratitude and blessings. Please open the circle of protection around us, but keep us strongly safe, shielded and protected. Thank you, danke schön, all my relations, all our relations. And so it is. <coughs> oh, wow. <sighs> Sorry, I just kind of had a few like energy shivers go through my body again. <laughs> so, yeah, this definitely shifted the energy okay everyone thank you so much for watching for being a part of this ceremony that is also still a part of my own healing as well thank you for working on your own healing and for supporting my channel if you liked it please give it a thumbs up share and subscribe and i'm also sending you so much love and light so many blessings and be well until next time thank you bye